What's going on guys, Arrow here, and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Now if you follow me on Twitter, then you know that I've been tweeting about this game non-stop ever since it was revealed last year. And Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is actually my favorite single player game on the Nintendo Switch. I had a ton of fun with that game, and it was from playing that game and talking to you guys about it that a lot of you guys told me to play Xenoblade 1 because a lot of you guys feel that Xenoblade 1 does the story even better, it's even more exciting, and it's even more fun. And I was giving that game a chance and I was streaming that game last year, it's kind of funny, it was right around this time. And what happened was eventually my next semester of college was starting up again so I had to stop streaming it for a bit and I was planning on like when I was on break again I was planning like during Thanksgiving or like the Christmas break the winter break that I usually get I was like you know what I'm gonna finish Xenoblade 1 we're gonna stream the rest of the game during that break but what happened was we actually had a September Nintendo Direct which revealed Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition an HD remake of the original Xenoblade game. And so by far, this is my most anticipated game for this year. Definitely the game that I am the most excited for. Way more than Persona 5 Royal, way more than Final Fantasy VII Remake, way more than Paper Mario Origami King. Pretty much every single like big game that we know is coming out this year, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition is at the very top. And so from the time that you guys see this video, we should be exactly one week away until Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches on the Switch. I should upload this video on May 22nd, and the game comes out on May 29th, which is going to be next Friday. And so in this video, I kind of want to just talk to you guys about Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, why I'm so excited about it, and why I'm so looking forward to it, as well as for some of you guys, maybe you guys are a little on the fence, you're not sure if this is the game for you, if you should give it a chance, what's so exciting about it, why is everybody so hyped for this game, what is there to love about it, I kind of want to just talk to you guys about that, and maybe some of you guys could get a little bit more excited for this game and give it a chance as well. Now before we get started, I do want to let you guys know that because I love the Xenoblade series so much, I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I'm going to be doing a digital giveaway where I give a code for the game, and you basically just go on the eShop, put the code in, and download the entire game onto your Switch. It is open worldwide so anybody can enter, and it's going to be announced on the day that the game comes out, on May 29th. So you're going to have like around a week or so to enter if you want to have a chance to win. And yeah, if you want to enter, basically just click the link below in the description. I'll also make it the pinned comment as well head over to my twitter give me a follow retweet that tweet tag two friends in there and you are basically entered to have a chance to win a free copy of xenoblade definitive edition so maybe if you don't have the money or you just want to have a chance to get the game for free definitely be sure to enter the giveaway all right, so the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is actually how underrated the Xenoblade series really is. I definitely consider Xenoblade to be one of Nintendo's most underrated franchises. It's definitely down there with like Earthbound and a lot of the other Nintendo franchises. A lot of people just don't know about Xenoblade and they don't really know much about the characters, what the game is even like, and what the game has to offer. And it's really a shame because pretty much every single Xenoblade game is a masterpiece in terms of quality and what the game has to offer, but many people just don't know about these games. And every single Xenoblade game that has released has kind of gotten shafted in its own way and it's just really been unfortunate for it. The first Xenoblade Chronicles game originally released in Japan in 2010 and at first this game wasn't even planned to be released anywhere else in the world, it was supposed to be just in Japan, but a lot of fans started getting excited about this game and wanting to play it for themselves and that started a movement known as Operation Rainfall which included Xenoblade Chronicles as well as some other games and fans were trying to get these games localized and available in other parts of the world. Now this movement was successful as Xenoblade Chronicles as well as all the other games that were a part of Operation Rainfall all did end up releasing in other parts of the world outside of Japan and finally did get localized. Now the thing is when the original Xenoblade Chronicles was finally released in other parts of the world it was already in 2012 and the Wii was at the very end of its life cycle. A lot of people were kind of done with their Wii, they weren't really looking forward to getting any more games and the thing is in 2012 the next generation of Nintendo home consoles was already on the horizon. And so because of this, a lot of people just didn't get to experience Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii. Moving into the next Xenoblade Chronicles game, Xenoblade Chronicles X was released in 2015, but this came out on Nintendo's next generation system after the Wii, which was the Wii U, and I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm going to say. The Wii U was unfortunately a system that was just a failure in terms of Nintendo. It didn't sell all that well, not many people even had a Wii U, and of course releasing a very underrated franchised game like this with Xenoblade on the Wii U, which a lot of people didn't even have, of course the game didn't perform that well, so Xenoblade X also got shafted in this way, and a lot of people didn't get to experience it, which is a big reason on Twitter you see a lot of people trying to get Xenoblade Chronicles X ported over to the Switch as well, as a lot of people still want to experience that game because they never got to. And then we've got Xenoblade Chronicles 2 which released on the Nintendo Switch, and this is actually the best selling Xenoblade game of all time. 
And so while Xenoblade 2 is the most successful in terms of Xenoblade games, it kind of still did get shafted by releasing on the Nintendo Switch in 2017, which a lot of people like to argue is probably the Nintendo Switch's best year. I mean, that year was stacked in terms of the releases that we got. We had Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, we had ARMS, we had Splatoon 2, we had Mario Plus Rabbids, Fire Emblem Warrior, Super Mario Odyssey. Like that year was stacked in terms of games, and then Xenoblade Chronicles 2 came out at the very end in December. And so because this game came so late in 2017, there were just so many other big games that were already out on the Switch that same year that a lot of people, even if they were considering buying a Nintendo Switch, wouldn't really think about Xenoblade because it wasn't a really big top priority type of game for them when you've got Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey and all that other type of stuff in the same year. And that's why I really feel that with Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, this is finally going to be the game that's going to release next week and not get shafted in any way. It's basically coming out with everything going for it in its favor, and that's why I'm really excited about it. Basically, there's really no reason that this can't end up being the most popular Xenoblade Chronicles game and the best-selling Xenoblade game of all time, and that's what I'm going to talk to you guys about real fast as to why I think that's going to be the case. So of course, the first thing is that this game is being released on the Nintendo Switch, which is one of Nintendo's most successful video game systems of all time. There's millions of people out there who have a Nintendo Switch, so it's not going to be like with Xenoblade X where a good game can come out, but there's not even that many people who have the system to really be interested in the game and want to play it. It's also going to be releasing at a good point in the Switch's life cycle. Even Nintendo themselves just said a couple weeks ago in their investors meeting that they feel that the Nintendo Switch hasn't even reached halfway in its life cycle yet. And so this game is actually coming out at a really perfect time. It's not coming out at the very end of a life cycle like with the original Xenoblade on the Wii. And it's also not releasing so early into a brand new life cycle like with Xenoblade 2 on the Nintendo Switch. On top of that, this is the next major Nintendo game that's coming out for the Switch. We know that Paper Mario Origami King is going to come out after, but besides that, we really don't know anything else about Switch games in 2020. So if a lot of people do want to have a big game to play on the Switch, the next major release is going to be the one that's happening next week with Xenoblade Definitive Edition. And then of course what's also going to help out is the situation that's going on in the world right now. Because of this whole virus that's spreading around, many people are stuck at home and are in quarantine. People are going to be getting out of school and are going to be going on summer break, but they're really not going to be able to do much because they can't really go outside, they can't really go to any public places. People are just going to be at home most of the time, they're going to be a little bit bored, and so they're really going to want to have something to do, and having a big 100 plus hour RPG game like this that you can sink hundreds of hours into is really going to be like the perfect type of game to have at this time. And so I really do feel that because of all these factors, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition pretty much does have everything for it going in its favor, and I really do think that it will be the most popular Xenoblade Chronicles game of all time, and it's going to surpass all the other sales. But now I want to talk to you guys about the game itself, why I'm so excited about it, and why maybe some of you guys should also give this game a chance if you're a little bit interested in it, and you want to see what all the hype is about. Now the first thing is about the series itself, and for most people, they're probably familiar with Xenoblade from Shulk being inside of Super Smash Bros. Now Shulk is actually one of the best characters inside of Super Smash Bros Ultimate, so maybe a lot of times you guys do see Shulk online when you're playing, but the thing that's cool about Shulk that maybe some of you guys don't know, is that the sword that he does use inside of Smash Bros, the Monado, is actually able to make him see into the future. Now obviously it's very hard to incorporate something like this into a fighting game like Smash, so they basically made this into his counter where you guys might hear Shulk say like a vision where he's basically like seeing what the opponent's gonna do and then he counters it. It's pretty clever, but inside of his game, you actually can see him being able to see into the future what the enemies are gonna do. It's actually baked right into the gameplay where you're gonna get visions of what the enemy is going to do, and then you can do different attacks to try to counter that future and create a new reality. It's actually really cool and a really fun mechanic. There's so many parts about this game that people love. The one that I know a lot of people are always talking about is the story. This story has a ton of crazy moments in it, an insane plot twist, and I've heard that they just get crazier and crazier the more that you play. I've only had a chance to play the first 10-ish hours of this game. That's like what I was streaming eventually when I was first playing through the original game. But even in the first 10 hours, there were definitely some fun moments and insane things that happened, which I wish I could talk to you guys about, but I don't want to spoil because I want you guys to experience these for yourself. The gameplay, like I mentioned, is also extremely unique. You've got this very special sword called the Monado, which lets you be able to see into the future. And it's not just like a gimmick that you can only see in cutscenes. It's actually baked right into the gameplay. You can be facing like a strong enemy and it'll give you a glimpse of what attack the enemy is going to do, how much damage it's going to do. And then you can use your own attacks to be able to change that future and create a new reality and protect yourself. It's just a really fun mechanic that you really can't get in many other games. And not to mention the music, Xenoblade games have really good music, whether it's in locations, in battle, or like cutscenes, there's always some really good music that plays in all of the Xenoblade games, and I mean just take a listen to this trailer right now and hear how epic this theme sounds.
There's actually no way you can tell me that didn't get you hyped and excited, and I'm sure I'm probably going to have some Xenoblade Definitive Edition music playing in the background of this video as well, so the music is definitely one of my favorite parts of Xenoblade games too. And don't even just take my word for it, here are some popular Nintendo YouTubers that I'm sure you guys know, and take a look at what they have to say about this game. No, 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 holy shit, holy shit, this is, this is all I wanted, give it to me, give it to me. No, don't put this man in another game. Oh my god. I hate this man. Yes! Fuck this Fuck guy. yes! I hate this him. is all I yes! Zero Blade Remake! God! I love this game so much, people Do you wish to change it? This is the best main character of any video game ever. The future. Oh my god. I think this is the most excited I've ever been for like just a game announcement. <laughs> Holy shit, it looks good. Titans came into existence. The Bionis and the Macaulay. You guys have to understand, this is my most expected game. This the is my Titans favorite game of all time. Howden sounds amazing. Oh, the music! The music! Oh, that theme is so good! Oh! Huh? In the sky! This can't be! No way. Oh my god, this a... looks incredible! I'm telling you guys, this is one of the best games Bionis. of all time. Monado. Must play it's it if you have not. I got, I'm getting chills right now just watching this shit again. <laughs> listen, listen. This is how you show anger. <laughs> you see what I mean? The feeling, my heart, I have goosebumps right now, just from seeing that. Did you hear him? Shulk, man. And there's way more scenes I can show you. There's way more scenes here. But for the sake of spoilers, I'm not going to show off too many of them. If you haven't played Xenoblade 1, and you want to feel, you want to have emotion, you want to cry, you play 1. Play 1, man. And I'm sure you recognized all of those YouTubers, and you can definitely see how excited they are for Xenoblade Chronicles. And this game definitely is just one of those types of games where really the whole series is just so underrated, and you don't think you're going to like the games all that much from looking at trailers or maybe even just gameplay. But once you actually play the game for yourself, and you see everything that it has to offer and all the surprises, you realize how amazing the game really is. And that's how I felt when I played through Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for the first time, and now that I'm a big Xenoblade fan, I can't wait to see what Xenoblade Chronicles 1, the original game, had to offer. I've heard so many people tell me that the story is much better, it's got insane plot twists and things that are going to blow my mind, and I've only played through the first 10 hours, and even those 10 hours were very epic with some really good moments, so I can't wait to see what the game has in store. And so yeah, there you go guys, that is all I have to talk about Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Hopefully you guys are also going to be picking up this game next week as well. I'm definitely going to be streaming it, so if you guys are a little bit unsure about this game and want to talk to me and ask me questions about it, you can definitely hop onto that stream. I'm probably going to stream it sometime next week when the game is coming out, and I'm planning on playing through the entire game on stream as well, so I'm definitely going to be streaming all the moments that I play because from what I've heard, many people say that you pretty much have to capture all of your reactions on stream because there's going to be so many moments that blow your mind. So I'm I'm definitely looking forward to it. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to click that like button and also comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this. Are you guys going to be picking up Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition? Are you excited for it? Definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to have some more Xenoblade content in the future, so definitely be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Click on that bell to become a part of the notification squad. Go follow me on Twitter at @joeros so you can be featured in videos and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo, so definitely be sure to join that. And remember to enter my giveaway as well. I am giving away a free copy of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. And so if you want to have a chance to win that, then all you got to do is click the link below in the description. I'll also make it the pinned comment of this video as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.